this episode of Gulf Coastal Connections, we're taking it to the streets of the Vucare to uncover the poor boy shops that fuel the Mardi Gras madness. Get set for a culinary escapade as we unveil five local restaurants serving up that quintessential culinary creation, the poor boy, throughout the carnival season and beyond. Buckle up because we're diving deep into a purple, gold, and green adventure, immersing ourselves in the enchanting vibes that make New Orleans the beating heart of all things Mardi Gras. I'm Eddie Parker, and step back in time with me to the origins of Mardi Gras on the Gulf Coast in 1699, when French explorer Pierre Le Moyne, Sir d'Iberville, set the stage for the grand festivities. This year marks the 325th anniversary of Iberville's inaugural Carnival Bash, and what began at Point du Mardi Gras has evolved into an extravagant celebration. The 2024 New Orleans Carnival season kicks off on January 6th and crescendos into the iconic Fat Tuesday on February 13th, attracting millions to the city's vibrant streets. Joining the revelry, unlike Iberville, you may face the challenge of finding food amidst the bustling festivities. Don't you worry. We are going to explore five of the very best places to grab a poor boy for a true taste of Mardi Gras and the Vu Carré. Located at the cross streets of Royal and Bienville in the Vu Carre, Curio Restaurant revives the charm of the late 19th century when a renowned Curio shop once stood on the exact same spot. Although the shop is long gone, the allure of excitement and wonder still persists. With a layout spanning two floors, the lower level houses a bustling bar, while the upper floor features a spacious dining room providing ample seating for busier periods. The upstairs balcony offers a picturesque view of Royal Street, allowing diners to immerse themselves in the vibrant energy of Mardi Gras in the French Quarter while savoring their delicious meals. Curios is welcoming you to join them during Carnival. All you have to do is make a reservation. Here are their hours of operation so you can choose your time that works best for you. Curios even offers specialty Mardi Gras cocktails. I've looked through this list and they all look amazing. You can find all this information and more on their webpage. I will leave a link in the description. Now back to the food review. Stepping into the stylish interior of Curios, I embarked on a culinary journey that goes hand in hand with the restaurant's intriguing decor. Beyond the captivating atmosphere, the restaurant impresses with top-notch service and an eclectic menu that caters to diverse tastes. What sets Curio apart is their genuine commitment. It's not merely about pleasing the patrons, it's about winning them over as regular customers. This approach resonated, making me an instant fan of this establishment. I kicked the mill off with a steaming cup of roasted duck and black-eyed pea gumbo, 
a visual masterpiece on the plate. As the warmth enveloped the senses, the rich and flavorful profile unfolded, complemented by the delightful crunch of green onions, enhancing the overall texture. The impeccable spice blend made any hot sauce unnecessary, allowing the dish's inherent flavors to shine. Each spoonful was a savory symphony, showcasing tender duck meat that elevated this gumbo to a culinary delight. Venturing on to the main course, I savored the fried alligator poor boy, a gastronomic marvel featuring fried marinated alligator, lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayhaw pepper jelly, and a finishing touch of cilantro lime mayo. The generous portion of golden fried gator meat within the poor boy proved a delightful surprise, ensuring each bite was a flavorful journey. Impressively tender, the alligator meat avoided the common pitfall of chewiness. The addition of mayhaw pepper jelly introduced a magical twist, enhancing the overall taste. The interplay of soft and crunchy textures in the bread perfected the poor boy, making it a well-dressed masterpiece undoubtedly a standout in the realm of delectable poor boys. It's an enchanting world at Curio, where sophistication meets whimsy. The restaurant exudes class, setting the stage for a memorable dining experience. Without a doubt, I look forward to returning to Curio for another exceptional escapade. Experience the epitome of classic French Quarter Poor Boy shops at Johnny Poor Boys, a time-honored establishment that has defined the Poor Boy experience. Founded in 1950 by the visionary duo Johnny and Betty de Grusa, the family-owned gym started within their Royal Street grocery store. As the delectable allure of their Poor Boy swept the city, the demand led to a move to their current location on St. Louis Street. Delight your taste buds with the legacy of Johnny's, the oldest and most cherished poor boy haven in the heart of the city. Johnny Poor Boys etched its name in history as a beacon of resilience, becoming the first restaurant to welcome back patrons after Hurricane Katrina on October 31st, 2005. In the aftermath of the catastrophe, Johnny's opened its doors to provide the recovering quarter residents with a source of fresh substance a gesture that significantly uplifted the spirits of a devastated community, still grappling with the aftermath of the disaster. Beyond serving delicious fare, Johnny's became a symbol of hope and restoration in these challenging times. Earning accolades for its straightforward yet delectable offerings, the award-winning poor boy at Johnny's stands out in the realm of simplicity and flavor. In the affordable dining scene of the French Quarter, this gem proves that you don't have to break the bank for a culinary delight. The friendly staff instantly wins your favor as you place your order at the counter, witnessing the preparation of your meal right before your eyes. While it operates on a cash-only basis, don't you fret, Boba Fett. ATMs are conveniently available inside. Johnny Poor Boys remains my go-to spot, never failing to deliver a satisfying experience across numerous visits throughout the years. I ordered the Fried Catfish Poor Boy, a dish that pays homage to the culinary powers of Mr. Johnny's legacy. Adorned with a side of zesty tartar sauce in lieu of the mayo, this creation takes the classic to new heights. 
The catfish, expertly fried to perfection, boasts a delightful crunch that harmonizes with the toasted bun, ensuring a satisfying bite without a hint of sogginess. As you indulge, be prepared for a flavor explosion that demands plenty of napkins, a testament to the generous portions of deliciousness. The thoughtful touch of offering free Coke refills adds to the overall experience, leaving you with the sentiment that this fried catfish pool boy is a culinary masterpiece worth savoring. When you're in the quarter, you have to give Johnny Poor Boys a try. You will thank me for it. Killer Poor Boy stands as a testament to the culinary skills of Cam Boudreaux and his wife April Bello. Former maestros in the fine dining realm, the duo embarked on a unique journey, establishing their very first Killer Poor Boys as a no-sign haven for Poor Boy fanatics at the back of the Aaron Rose Irish Pub. Cam Boudreaux's teenage vision has materialized into a French Quarter hotspot, offering a dike Dichotomy of new school and old school poor boys. Their commitment to quality is evident as they exclusively source Gulf of Mexico seafood and meats raised without hormones or antibiotics. Everyone is welcome at Killer Poor Boys. Vegetarian and vegan options grace their menu, ensuring a diverse array for all tastes. So step into this funky little back room with quick service where you can eat it here at the bar or take it with you. The choice is up to you. My decision to savor the pork belly poor boy at home proved to be a wise one. The Dong Fiong bread, a masterpiece with a flaky exterior and a soft chewy interior maintained its integrity as takeout. The rum ginger glaze asserted its presence from the very first bite, while the crunchy lime slaw contributed a delightful texture. The garlic aioli played a harmonious role, neither overpowering the pork belly nor the slaw, but enhancing the overall flavor profile. This poor boy will fill you up without weighing you down, showcasing a culinary craftsmanship that transcends the ordinary. It's pretty evident that this creation was skillfully crafted by someone with a keen understanding of blending flavors and textures. So whether you crave a classic poor boy executed to perfection or an innovative creation, this establishment is the place for you. Killer Poor Boys now has two French Quarter locations, including the original permanent pop-up in Aaron Rose and a no-thrills brick-and-mortar shop nearby known as Big Killer Poor Boys. Located on Dauphine Street, 
Big Killer Poor Boy stands as a testament to the culinary skill of Cam Boudreaux and his wife, April Bello. Big Killer Poor Boys takes pride in its mission to craft internationally inspired, chef-crafted New Orleans-style sandwiches. This is how it works. Go to the counter, place your order, get your coat, find a table, sit yourself down, and wait for them to bring you your poor boy. The air is filled with good music, enhancing the overall experience. Their friendly staff adds to the positive vibe. A distinct local charm permeates this venue, making it not just a place to grab a quick meal, but a community hub where locals come together. Today, I ordered the ham and pimento cheese pour boy with chassessi ham, porcelu pimento cheese, fresh spinach, creole mustard, grilled onions, and peppers. The tantalizing aroma sets the stage for a pour boy that is stuffed full with succulent chassessi ham. Originating from a local New Orleans company with a rich history, the ham's quality is unparalleled. Crafted with care, each lean cut is smoked with hickory chips, resulting in a perfect balance of smokiness and tenderness with a saltiness that is just right. Porcelou is a semi-soft cheese first crafted in a French Trappist monastery in the 19th century. It is velvety and mellow and perfect for being made into a pimento. Killer certainly knows how to choose the right ingredients for your poor boy. I was initially skeptical about the grilled onions and bell peppers, but they turned out to be the perfect complement to the poor boy, adding a delightful twist that completely won me over. The use of Dongfang bread just perfected it. Prepare to be amazed by the sleeper hit, the ham and cheese poor boy at Killer Poor Boys. While their stellar reputation sets high expectations, the astonishing flavor of this sandwich catapulted it out of nowhere to claim the title of my favorite poor boy in the French Quarter. It's a culinary revelation you won't see coming. In the ever unpredictable atmosphere of the French Quarter, spontaneity takes the reins as last minute plans unfold. That renowned 24 7 pool boy shop that I had been planning on taking you to closed for the morning. Yet there's a silver lining as the grill takes a well deserved hiatus for a much needed cleaning. Undeterred, we're going to embrace this challenge, shifting gears toward a great alternative. Our new destination? The iconic Clover Grill at 900 Bourbon Street, promising a culinary experience that transcends any ordinary poor boy delight. Discovering the Clover Grill for the first time is like stepping onto sacred ground, a true icon of the French Quarter. For no Bourbon Street adventure is complete without savoring the sunrise through bloodshot eyes from this historic spot. Since 1939, the Clover Grill has reigned supreme as the purveyor of the finest breakfasts and burgers on Bourbon Street, perhaps even the entire French Quarter. Open 24-7, the Clover Grill serves breakfast all day. It might be the perfect remedy to a sore back and tired feet after hours of walking through the quarter. However, they're also known for their burgers. So the question becomes, do I have the breakfast or do I have the burger? 
Why not have both? At the Clover Grill, you can have both. Behold the mighty breakfast burger. This is a hamburger, but it's much, much more than that. This is cooked to perfection. It's one of the best things I have ever had, and you should go get it. Bravo to the chef. He cooked this to perfection. From the hash browns to the hamburger, and especially the fried egg. I didn't even need the french fries, but they came with it anyway. It is a first rate meal. I want you to keep checking out this burger while I talk about the service. My waiter was one of the best waiters I have ever had. He was truly a kind individual. He made me feel right at home from the time I sat down to the time I left. Clover Grill is so much more than its delectable menu. It's a common ground for all, akin to a Graceland for the truly wasted or the desperately hungry. It goes beyond being merely a dining experience. Instead, it serves as a microcosm that encapsulates the verse and vibrant spirit of this city itself. As we wrap up our exploration into the vibrant poor boy culture of the French Quarter, we've indulged in a rich tapestry of flavors and narratives that characterize this iconic sandwich and the holiday itself. Each poor boy shop with its distinctive twist on the classic contributes to preserving the legacy of this culinary masterpiece. Throughout this journey, you've been immersed in the diverse and captivating elements that solidify the poor boy as an enduring symbol of the Vucare's culinary excellence and an excellent go-to meal during Mardi Gras. So until our next culinary adventure, keep exploring, keep savoring, and most importantly, keep enjoying the incredible flavors that connect us to the heart and soul of the Gulf Coast. If you would like to learn more about the history of our beloved poor boy, please watch The Irresistible World of New Orleans Poor Boys. I'll leave a link in the descriptions. Thank you from the depths of our heart for being the heartbeat of our journey. If this adventure brightened your day, hit subscribe, share the love with that like button, and spread the joy with your friends. Every click echoes through our story. Until our trails cross again, Take care, stay safe, and we will see you again on Gulf Coastal Connections. Let the good times roll. And now, it's... <laughs>